girls can't play cricket. The boys thought that girls could not play cricket. Did the girls prove them wrong? Sumit waited for his friends to arrive at the playground. When they came, three boys and two girls, they were all excited to see the cricket set Sumit had got for his birthday. Let's make two teams and play a match. I'll be the captain of one team. Rajan, you can be the captain of the other. You can select your team and I'll select mine. They started calling out the names. Ajay! Vicky! The girls waited for their names to be called out. When neither of the captains called out their names... What about us? Well, girls can't play cricket. You can watch us play. Yes, you can cheer your favorite team. The girls got so angry that they turned and walked back home. It's not fair. We're friends. We should be playing together. We should teach them a lesson. Sudha's mother heard the girls talking. What's the matter, girls? You look upset. The girls explained what had happened to them. I know what you can do. Make your own cricket team and challenge the boys to a match. But we don't have a cricket set. And we don't know how to play cricket. Don't worry about that. I can teach you. I was the captain of the girls' cricket team at school. How would you like a cricket set for your birthday next week, Sudha? Oh, Mummy, you're great! For the next two weeks, Sudha and Priti practiced batting, bowling and fielding. Sudha's mother taught them all the techniques and rules. Preeti's mother also joined them. Soon, they became quite good at the game. Sudha was especially good at bowling. Let's go to the playground and show the boys. The girls and their mothers went to the playground and set up the stumps and bales. Soon the boys arrived. They laughed when they saw the girls playing cricket. How about a match? Don't be silly. Girls can't play cricket. Why don't you play with us and find out? Will you also play, auntie? If you don't mind. Otherwise, two girls against four boys wouldn't be fair. The boys were a little surprised. All right, auntie. But please be careful. We don't want you to get hurt. The match started. The boys won the toss and Sumit was the first to bat. He hit the very first ball for four runs. Come on, Sudha! Ball your fast ones! Sumit hit two more runs, but he was out on the next ball. Clean bowled. He couldn't believe it. It was Rajan's turn next. The balls were so fast that the first two just whizzed past him. He realized that he would have to try his best. It would not be an easy victory. He hit the next ball high for six runs. The boys jumped with joy. Rajan made 15 runs and then he was run out. Ajay and Vicky made another four runs each and then they too were out. They had scored 29 runs in all. Don't worry, we'll get the girls out in no time. Sudha faced Rajan nervously as he bowled the first ball. It missed the stumps by an inch, just saved. I mustn't be nervous, thought Sudha as she faced Rajan again. This time, she hit the ball for one run. Slowly, the runs began to pile up. Two runs, three runs, another one, and then she hit a four. Soon, she had made 15 runs. The boys were getting worried when all of a sudden, Sudha was clean bowled. It's your turn, Priti. Don't get nervous. Sumit bowled to Priti and she hit the ball for four runs. Come on, Sumit. Don't let them win. Preeti hit six more runs before she was out. Now it was her mother's turn. She was clean bowled on the first ball. You'll have to make five runs somehow, Mummy. Her mother went into bat. She scored two runs. There were no runs in the next over. Hurry up, Mummy. The ball flew in the air for four runs. They had done it. 
they had won the game. The girls jumped with joy. The boys clapped for them. We'll play together from now on. And now we all know. Girls can play cricket. Everyone joined in.